Some children may not have a place where they can share their feelings, a safe haven where they can be truly honest. Well, Portland Center Stage just happens to be one of those rare places. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is Matthew Zarebski. He is the resident teacher here at Portland Center Stage. And um, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. You know, I, I talked to you about this, and you were so passionate about giving kids a voice. Yes. What is so important about giving kids a voice? Well, I think often there's a huge divide between the internal life of an adolescent and what they feel like they have to portray to the public. And I think often that causes a great deal of stress. Um, they have huge expectations on them academically in terms of their future, parents, teachers, you name it. So through the Visions and Voices playwriting program here at Portland Center Stage, our hope is to allow them to explore an authenticity within themselves to sort of be extremely truthful uncensored and unfiltered about their ideas, about their worldview, um, and to express that um, through creative medium, which would be theater. How do you as a person garner their confidence that everything that happens in the theater will stay in the theater? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have, early on in the residency program, we sort of make a pact with the class, and I say, look, we need to be honest and respectful in this room. Um, everything that is said in here stays in here. And I want to be clear, it's not as though we're running um, a group therapy session. It really is about the artwork, but it's about being truthful and, and not doing what we expect or what they think we want, but what is true to them and what they want. I'll bet you you get more than acting honest performances. <laughs> we get very honest performances. I mean, we focus on playwriting, but even within those classes, the students who read the work, um, it's extremely authentic because so often they're exploring the world that they live in and we urge them to explore the adolescent world um, and to express that freely. And you not only work here, you work around the area as well. I do. I sort of have a couple of arms in my career. On one arm, I, I do adult contemporary theater and focus a lot on new work. Um, but the other half of my career, and I'm very passionate about it, is working with youth and theater for young audiences. So um, I work here at Portland Center Stage. I also work for the Acting Academy at Oregon Children's Theater. Um, and other organizations in town that deal primarily with uh, teens and teen training. Sounds like you get a lot of satisfaction out of your work. I love what I do every day. Do you have to train as a psychologist or, <laughs> or a, as an actor? Um, really as a writer. I mean, I come to it mostly as a playwright and a director. Um, but really, the arts are all about empathy, right? So what theater is really about is creating um, an experience for an audience where they feel empathy for a story. So in targeting empathy as our goal and how audiences will connect to the story, kids are therefore more uh, empathic and empathetic with others. And I think that allows for a culture of positivity and, like I keep saying, freedom to express um, and honesty. Give me an anecdote about any of your kids well, or experiences. Yeah, sure. Um, we've had numerous students who, through the writing we've discovered, are struggling with, with numerous things internally. Um, and again, they're not running biographically. We even ask them not to do that so much. We want them to keep it fictional, but to be inspired by their lives. So I've had a couple of students uh, with incredible challenges. One in particular was dealing with gender identity, which is really challenging to talk about openly in the schools. We're only now beginning to talk about that. Especially in the family. Absolutely. And so through the Visions of Voices process, I was sensing that in the work and it allowed for a platform and a safe space to explore that topic. And I'm happy to say that this individual is doing very well and very happy and has talked about Visions of Voices as being one of the reasons that uh, she was able to deal with her dilemma. All right. Matthew uh, Zarebski, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We're finding out so much about Portland Center stage and all the different uh, areas. It, it helps people. It serves the community. And this old building has a lot of stories, and we appreciate yours. Thanks for having me. All right. Matthew Zarebski, resident teaching artist, Portland Center Stage. And for the crew here at Comcast Newsmakers, thanks a lot for joining us. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day, everyone.